Hello guys, and today we're doing a special year on basketball report. <laughs> we're doing people who is not going to win. Of course, a superstar players that are not going to win rings. Um, no, potentially not going to win a ring. Uh, this is ringless, guys, and uh, this might hurt some guys. You know, some of these guys in this list hurt me. Um, but, you know, it's something that we all have to accept. Uh, there's too mm. much competition. Yeah, not they're, everyone's going to win a ring. They're already old. They're already old so yeah, these no. guys' times are limited. They might have one or two shots left, but to be honest with you, not much. Not much. Um, so let's start with the big names. Uh, I think let's start with uh, Chris Paul. CB3. So, yeah, you guys will probably be... But he's on the Suns. The Suns. But I don't think the Suns are going to, you know... Do anything in this? Uh, okay, they're second at the moment, but you know, are they going to win a championship? Highly unlikely. I don't I think they have the depth. So um, Chris Paul, yeah, he's he's already what like thirty six. It's really old. So I think it's about time he's going to start thinking about you know retiring. You know, maybe another two years. Yeah, when his contract ends, I think there's still two years left in his contract. Yeah. To be honest, great job for Sanzo in the playoffs. They're not going to win. They're not contenders. Um, this guy has some few opportunities, but due to injuries, um, not just him, but teammates as well, uh, went on the Hornets. I think that was maybe his best shot. But to be honest with you, time's up for Chris Paul. Um, there's not much left for this guy to do. To be mm. honest... Like I said, he's not going to win on the Suns, and he's probably just going to retire when he enters the Suns. Yeah. So, yeah, you yeah. know, plain and simple. Uh, I'm not a biggest CP3 fan, but he's not going to win. Uh, okay, next we're going to, you know, all this, the youngest, I'm just going to say. So we have here, oh, Melo. Ah, God. Ah, shame. You know, Melo is in the, uh, at the Blazers, and let's be honest, um, they've they're not going to win a championship. You know, I think Melo is also, you know, he's 30, what? He's 37. You know, I think after this contract, he's also going to maybe, you know... I don't think there's going to be a team that's going to take his contract on, to be honest. Or not his contract on. He wants to stay, you know. Um, he's going to give him maybe a veteran's minimum. Maybe, you know, just play out, you know, if he wants to. But honestly, I think he's going to retire. It's not going to be too long. And, you know, it's actually a shame, you know, Melo is definitely one of the big names in the league still. Um, but, you know, I think his time has come and it's highly, highly, highly unlikely that he's going to win a ring, really. Um, yeah, I think next, let's go to... Yeah, staying on with Blazers. Blazers, we're going here with Lillard. You know, talking Lillard is 31. He's actually out of his prime. Okay, there's he's still doing good. He's still doing good. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, still good, but you know, on the Blazers, they were actually as long as he's on the Trailblazers, he's not gonna win. Uh, are the Blazers going to let him go? Probably not. You know, then how his contract is. He's, 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 I think his max, super max contract is kicking in. He's going to sign. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, after he already signed, I think the last season he signed one. I think in his last, I think he signed the biggest super max contract in history of NBA. I think his last year. Uh, which is 2025 or 2026 is making something like 50 million so look um even if he moves on from the trailblazers it's not gonna happen soon um so by the time he moves on from the blazers he's probably gonna be the same the h mellow and cp3 are now and they're not gonna trade this contract it's an impossible contract to trade so the trailblazers went all in Damian Lillard went all in, and as long as he's on the Blazers, as long as the Trail Blazers exist, frankly, they're not going to win a title um, in this era. So, plain and simple, it, it's not going to happen. No, not gonna be honest sorry, with you. sorry guys. Sorry to Blazers fans, <laughs> but you know, you had, uh, you had a run, yeah. then you got swept. So. Okay, here we go with another big name, Paul George, you know, why he's a choker, <laughs> probably must be an all uh, you know uh, all of fame for the biggest joker that ever uh, exists you know we're talking here about okc super teams we're talking here it's like the the Blazers. you know you know this guy's just been too inconsistent the one season he's in the mvp conversation the next season he's pandemic p then he's playoff p you know then he's not even showing up <laughs> to playoffs you know 
thing, you know. And to be honest, the Clippers, you know, they have a history, you know, of being the biggest choking team in the history of, of, of the NBA. Uh, like, let's be honest, you know, it started at Lob City and, uh, yeah. Even before Lob City, you know, these guys have never even made a Western Conference Finals. Not, I'm not even talking about the NBA Finals here. I'm talking about they've never even been in the Conference Final. It's not going to change. Last season, everyone was talking about how oh, the contenders. What happened? 3-1 up against the Nuggets. No disrespect to the Nuggets. Obviously, the Nuggets are a great team. But 3-1 up, you have to seal the deal. Yeah, definitely. And they didn't. Last in Game 7. And this season... I would say they're a worse team now, and also now losing Lou Williams, that hurts them a little bit. And uh, Patrick, Beverly, Patrick, but Patrick Beverly, which is <laughs> fucking useless. So, yeah. The uh, team's also getting older. Look, I would say Paul George still has a chance on another team when he has a minor role. So, there's some basically saying when he's older, you know, when his contract with the Clippers. Coming up from the bench, yeah. you know. But do I think he's going to win a ring as being the main guy? No, absolutely fine. And, and does he want not to be the main guy? He wants to he's be the main He's obviously going to be the main guy. So, yeah, uh, next, we're going here. He's uh, former going, teammate. <laughs> going, going into Christian's, uh, you know. Yeah, oh, my place. favorite player. He's sad uh, about this. But it's true. Uh, we discussed it, you know. But it's an us, you know. Yeah, Let's be honest, true. he's on the Wizards. And, okay, obviously Wizards is not going to even contend. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's the same as Paul George, you know, Russ needs to not be the main guy, oh, and then geez. he's going to win. I don't know, what's your opinion? Go uh, okay, look, Russ is very free at this stage. Um, after this contract, I don't think he's getting a max contract, um, mm, yeah. but he could still be a very valuable role player. I think the type of team Russell Westbrook needs um, for in order for him to win a ring is when he is the primary playmaker, not primary scorer. Mm. When he can do get in that playmaking role, you know, where he, he sacrifices points per game and pushes up at assists per games, um, then they can be in a position and also a team with a lot of scoring. Do I think he's going to win a ring at the Wizards? Absolutely not. There's no fucking way. But <laughs> he's not got too many years left on his contract. I think it's this season, then next season. So we're talking about you about 20, 22, 2023. At that stage, he's going to be 35. That's his last opportunity. If after that, you know, he doesn't, then he's not going to win a ring. But, I mean, definitely, in, from all of the guys on this list, um, definitely the biggest name, I would say, you know, former MVP. Yeah, we're talking about uh, I would love for us to win a ring, but at this stage, it's not looking like an option. Yeah, okay. Then, we're going with, fuck knows, uh, the Marder Rosen. You know, this guy is like, you know... He, he just he's not going to win a ring, you know. He fucked off from the Raptors next season. They win a ring, you know. That's bad. Sh- it love. can't be a coincidence. It can't be. So uh, <laughs> then he went to the Spurs, and let's be honest, the Spurs were good when Duncan was there. They're shit now, and then now they hit the reboot button. So what is the mall going to do? I don't know who wants him. You know, this guy is. You know, he's, 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 he's good, but he's not great, you know. He's the, the marvelous DeRozan for, for a reason. And yeah. the main problem with DeRozan yeah. is he's scared to take three-point shots. He likes his mid-range, which is fine. He can shoot the mid-range shots, and his shot, he shoots mid-range good. But he's scared to take a three-pointer. And at this stage, you know, he's on 21 points per game, which is good, which is solid. This season, his contract expires, and he's still 32. So... There might be an opportunity for him to ring chase. You know, there's, there's teams who can use a scorer. Um, there are teams available that would go with him. But at this stage, it feels like, you know, it's just mellow 2.0, basically. Basically. Just a, a wish version of, of Carmelo Anthony. Uh, a, a cheap Carmelo. So... Yes, he still has value. You know? Definitely, as a, as a team, we would need a, a second option scorer. Definitely. Uh, I mean, let's say this guy joins the Wizards, for example. I mean, then they can have a, a good, competent team, but that's not what they need at this moment, you know. Um, teams like, you know, the Lakers uh, would need a guy that like him, not that they have the, the assets to sign him. Uh, maybe even looking at the Knicks as well. Mm. Um, but there is still value for the Rosen. But, you know, the teams that want to sign the more the Rosen are going to be teams who 
aren't contenders but want to be contenders yeah. and he's not going to make it. You know, teams like Rebuild, we're talking here about um, Rockets is not even relevant. Um, <laughs> we're talking about Pistons, OKC, okay, you know, Grizzlies. You know, and, and he's uh, even too old to fit in that Wizards, category. Cavs, and you know, he's too old for, to carry a team and all that stuff. Next, we're going to actually, this is actually a sad case, you know, Derrick Rose, you, we all know, you all know what happened, you know, we're talking about a young MVP era, and, you know, it was a better, best opportunity back then. Yeah, definitely with the Bulls. With the Bulls, right so, uh, at least made playoffs one season with the, the Timberwolves, yeah. but look, you know, this next team isn't going to win a ring in the next five years, I'm going to be honest. Um... They might in the future look the Knicks are in a much better place than they were. Yeah, like we're talking about looking at three years back Knicks, we're talking this is like the Chicago Bulls. But yeah. <laughs> the but Jordan Bulls. Now. He's thirty three <laughs> now. There is a stage where you actually thought he was not gonna be in the NBA anymore. Mm. And I mean looking onward from this season, might just sign a couple of one year contracts on random teams. No, uh, is, uh, is he going to stick at the Knicks? Probably not, you know, he's maybe going to leave, going to another team. It's, okay, he was at the, uh, the person for like a season, season, yeah, and, a season and a half. But, you know, still, he's still old, you know, he can't do what he could, you know, after injury, you know, that is so big injury, he's not going to. He lost his athleticism. And I've, he's still a great role player um, because he, he doesn't care too much about you know contracts Points and, and all, ego. Yeah. And he just does uh, his thing and he's does humble. It solid. Yeah. He's humble, definitely uh-huh. humble guy, nice guy. Then we're going to Max, Mr. Max contract. Uh, you know, almost like Clay Thompson, John Wall. You know, easy sign a Max, fuck up your leg, and you get paid for doing nothing. So John Wall, the Rockets <laughs> guys. Let's be honest, the Rockets. We got Rocket go check the video winning. we're going to do about him. Yeah. It's going to be out next week. Yeah, guys, he's not going to win under, at the Rockets. He's too old. You know, we're talking here about his injuries. He's not as fast as he was. And he lost know, athleticism. The athleticism is gone. The best opportunity they had was at the Wizards when he was injured. So, and even then, they wouldn't have won, but they could still at least make the playoffs back then. Yeah. And now. The Wiz- I mean, the Rockets aren't doing anything, and his contract is untradeable. It's too big, it, guys. Too much money, too much on, on, on the risk here. When his contract expires, um, he could possibly be able to join a team, but look, who's going to sign a guy? Which contender is going to look at John Wall and go like, you know what, I want this guy yeah. who had two major injuries and won a, a massive contract. This is an asset. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not gonna happen. It's most likely gonna be on a, a random team who just wants to be in the playoffs. Um, he's not gonna win that ring. No. Okay. The next. Uh, before we start with the shit lad, we just wanna name a few names. You know, Boogie Cousins. It's not on the list, but you know, Boogie is at the moment fuck knows who he's he is. He's not even in the league. So. Um, and you know, he just ops around like a. I don't know. Do we run it? The thing is, do we really want to put Boogie here? He's not in the league at the moment. He doesn't even have a team. So, just Boogie, you know, on the side. Then, we're talking here about almost the... the okay, this is a big if, man. Basically, the whole next team. Yeah. team. So, all the... This is the Andre Jordan. We're talking Blake Griffin, Demarcus Aldridge. Um, and James Harden. And James Harden. Now, <laughs> I know a lot of you guys think, no, they're definitely going to win a ring. The problem is, we think egos are, are a big, big problem here. And uh, it, it just relates, you know, Kari Irving is an absolute fucking idiot. And he's got this weird mindset. And, you know, he destroys teams, let's be honest. Like, he's, uh, I'm not saying he has bipolar disease. He's, he's, ba- he's a ba- bad influence, bad blood. I don't know what, the, what you call it. You would be just, you know, the... For one month, he'd be absolutely, you know, the guy's happy, he's playing good, he's fantastic, That's this you know. fucking guy burning some sort of m- murder and fucking sniffing it, I don't know what. And then, all of a sudden, <laughs> this guy would just be in his fields, he would be, you know, disrespectful to his other teams, and, you know, just, not, not other teams, other teammates. Just yeah. on and off, we all know KD, he likes beef. He's a snake, so. Yeah, he's a snake, but look, as long as Kevin Durant is on this team, they have a chance. But the thing is, Kevin Durant isn't playing at this moment. And this team, getting two new players, now need to build the chemistry up. 
So when Kevin Durant comes back, the chemistry needs to be built up again. And there's yeah. too many players with not enough ball going around. I don't know. The thing is, yeah, someone's going to have to do sacrifice. Someone's going to have to take the pride, put it in the pocket. And I can promise you, Kyrie Irving, James Harden, and Kevin Durant are not going to do that. So that puts the honors on Blake Griffin, the Andre Jordan, and Aldridge. I think Aldridge and Blake is fine, so I think the issue here would be Jordan. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, look. Just look at, this is like a super team. We're talking here about, well, how many times have we said it? Lob City. <laughs> This team's even Clubbers, better than Lob City. It's better than Lob City, but what happened in Lob City? Eagles got in the way. They were fucking good, but they couldn't, you know, that was the biggest, um, you know, war they couldn't break, I mean, there's, go there's, through. There's a saying that goes around of too much of a good thing is bad. And I think this is exactly what the Brooklyn Nets is. They had it. Getting Blake Griffin... Well, okay, this is borderline, but getting Aldridge is yeah, it's just too it's much. Too much, you know, Blake. Too much. I, I could have, I could understand a Blake trade. You know, Blake is definitely a good guy to come up from the bench. You're making him a six man. You can sm- play small with him. You know, you can stretch the floor, put him at the five spot. That's what Steve Nash wanted to do. But now you've got Aldridge, who basically does the same thing as Blake Griffin at this moment, um, except with a little bit of better uh, rebounding. But I mean, look, you don't want Aldridge to. Stay on the arc. You don't want him to do that. Aldridge can shoot the free ball, but also he doesn't want to shoot. He prefers a mid range. And you don't want mid range shooting when Kevin Durant is your mid range shooter. James Harden doesn't take the mid range. I mean, look, it's, it, I don't know what Steve Nash is going to do. If Steve Nash pulls this off and wins a ring, I promise you, in my personal opinion, that would make Steve Nash one of the top 10 best coaches ever. Yeah. If he can pull off this. But. I mean, that's taking Phil Jackson's Zen Master to a next level. Yeah, uh, but uh, let's just say like this: they have two years, maybe this season, next They've season. Got two years. I'm After saying that, you know, if they don't win this year, then last year is. They've got. To, they've know. got basically this season to see how things go. They've got next season to fix what happened this season, and that's it. Yeah. After that, the contracts are expiring. Look, this team's already. And then like, it is I, shit. I think they're like 170 million on on salary cap at this moment. Um, <laughs> when yeah. when the books come open, there's not gonna be any appealing players left. They've went all in. They when when they did the deal low trade, that was them basically saying, "Look, we're going all in here." Um, I don't know what's gonna happen. This team is is so so. I'm gonna we're gonna put them on ring list. Um, all the guys on the next team except you know for Kyrie and, and, and KD yeah. um, the possibility is there but look we, we've made a subcategory for them just because of the chances <laughs> yeah. when the season are very high but I mean look there's a lot of teams that have high chances in the NBA that's uh, opinion going to win yeah, the, yeah, yeah. but yeah guys uh, I think that's that thanks for watching you know, let us know in the comments if yeah, you maybe if miss you somebody or you think okay, we're talking shit or yeah, we are always here to discuss. So we like it. Uh, we like a bit of you know uh, beef. <laughs> yeah, I mean, friendly, if, friendly. If, if you if you guys you know if you've missed something, you know, let us know. Um, look, it's the NBA. You know, anything can happen at any moment. Uh, we don't know what's gonna happen, so it's difficult to say. But looking at the age of these players and looking at the type of contracts and the stats they're putting up now, it's fair to assume that the chances are high that they're not going to win. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah. so let's check out all the social medias and, you know, all that type of stuff. And, you know... Um, oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs>